Hey everyone, it's me again, Drew. <coughs> Drew, sorry about that. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to make this really neat bag using the Cricut Expression, and I'll be showing you using the Plantain School Book cartridge, and you're also going to need the Serenade cartridge. Um, this is the Plantain School Book cartridge. It comes with a basic, basic Cricut. This is my black Cricut Expression that I got at um, Walmart for 280, I think it was, including it without tax. And um, it comes with the Plantain School Book cartridge, and it comes with the Serenade cartridge. So you get them both. And we'll be using that yellow flower right by my thumb on that one. And this is what comes in the Serenade cartridge. Just some birdhouses, some wave different things, the filigree pieces, trees, butterflies, fruits, different things like such. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to show you step by step how to do this using your Cricut Expression and how to get your bad bag. Okay, I just realized... Oh, never mind. Okay, you're going to first get your mat and you're going to put a 12 by 12 piece of paper on here. This is the paper I got in a sack that I got from Christmas. And this is kind of like a dog sack. It has different doggy papers in it. I think it's really pretty cool. And see, it's just some different papers and border papers. And I really like this one, this border paper. I think that's really cool with the fire hydrants and different things like that. So, okay, so first what you're going to want to do is when you get your credit expression, load the Plankton School Book cartridge right here and lay the Plankton School Book overlay over the top. Okay, we're going to click the on key, which is right located right here. So turn that on and it'll light up. And keep your paper away from the rod because the rod is spinning right now. Now I'm going to show you kind of more of a view of everything. There we go. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to line our paper up with the thing, and we're going to click the load paper button right here on the right side of the, on the gray keys, the bottom left gray key. Not over on this side, on this side. Okay, then I'm going to click the roly-poly button, which is located one under the top button right here. Click on the roly-poly button, and it should light up blue. And then I'm going to click on the bag, which is the second to last image key from... This is the first image key that my finger's on, and this is the second image key. Click on that image key. And you should get the tall ball bag. So, we did get the tall ball bag. Okay, so... Move this up a little bit. So, as you can see, we got the tall ball bag image from our loaded in the double bag image and it's at, set at two and a half inches right now we will take that away we don't want it at two and a half inches I'll show you how to do that okay oh, crooked I'll just leave it right there okay so we loaded our paper and now we have this and you're going to click the fit to page button which is located right here click on the fit to page button and it'll say fit to page on on your little LED screen thingy here and you're going to click the cut button right here cut. And my speed is on uh, 4, my pressure is on 4, and my blade is on 6. So what it's doing now is it's scoring, and now it's actually cutting out your image. So... Let's wait for that to finish cutting. And... I'll get back to you once it's done cutting. So, I'll um, meet you back here. And, um, this is what it cut out. It cut out the dog, the bag, and I just punched out all the little pieces, and I scored and folded on the score marks. It makes little tiny tick marks where you need to score it. And it's really pretty simple on where you need to score Oh, I forgot to score right here. I'll do that later. Okay, so all I did was I added on some of the yellow cardstock from Stampin' Up! and a this is the yo-yo yellow, and that is a blue cardstock. That's a, not a Stampin' Up! cardstock. That's a different cardstock. And I turned off my machine. I added the Serenade cartridge and the Serenade overlay. And I'm just going to load my paper, just like it did last time. And I'm going to go to my little flower that I want. And I'm going to do this flower right here. So it's in the third row, and it's three over. So it's this little flower right here. You probably you cannot see that. I know it. And I'll, I'm going to be doing a little bit something different. I'm going to click the shift button, and I'm going to click that flower button, so I get 
my um, little doily thingy over there. Let's see if I could get that with the camera. It's kind of like a doily thingy, I guess. Okay, I, I don't know how to fix the camera once I do that. So, better not do that again. Okay, I'm going to cut that at two and a half inches, and I'm going to turn my speed and my pressure back to max. I'm going to click cut. And it should just start cutting it out for me, and so it's cutting this out in the turquoise color, because I wanted it, um, I wanted my little top layer to be in the turquoise. Okay, so now I'm going to click the unload paper button that'll load your paper right back to the spot that it was. And I'm going to load paper again. That was weird. Oh, I should have put load paper. Okay, so I'm going to bring my foot over using the dials over on this side over to the yellow yellow and I'm just going to click the flower now without the shift button. And I hope you guys didn't click shift lock because that would have locked it. And I get a scallop circle and I'm going to cut that out at two and a half inches also. Okay, so while that is cutting... So let me unload my paper and show you what I get. Okay, so I just unloaded my paper and I'm going to peel up my cardstock. Okay, let me get my ball. Okay, this is the new map, so. So you get the yellow scallop and we're going to put that right underneath our blue and you're going to get your blue doily lace kind of, kind of like thingy, so let me clean that off so I can show you what it looks like. And that's what that looks like. It's like a blue doily lace, and that will layer right on top of your yellow flower, just like that, and we'll be stamping in the middle. Okay, so I'll meet you back to show you the next.